Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch, the last Stockwatch of the trading week. And we're hearing very good returns from Apple, especially as they have exceeded expectations on their earnings and have seen sales grow by 11% year on year, which is quite significant for Tim Cook, who has said that the forecast for 2022 is going to be even better uh, going forward. Obviously, it was the holiday season, uh, which is why they did have more sales than usual. Only the iPad sales actually were lower than expected. Uh, iPods and um, you know iPhones and all their other materials that they sell uh, actually achieve their targets. So let's just take a look at the numbers then. Earnings per share two dollars ten versus one eighty nine estimated. That was up twenty five percent year over year and one point uh, sorry one hundred twenty three point nine billion dollars versus one one eight point six six estimated. So like I said, holiday sales did have a significant impact on the uh, retail sales that Apple did see. However, it is a very good sign that they are getting back on track even though the pandemic was to slow um, these microchips that a lot of um, companies are being hindered by in the last year or so. Another uh, earnings that I did see uh, yesterday was McDonald's as well that actually missed analyst expectations quite significantly and they blamed it on higher costs that weighed in on its profits as well and it marks four earnings a fourth earnings miss um, in eight quarters for the company as well so just a quick look at their uh, figures uh, $223 uh, versus 234 earnings per share adjusted and revenue came in at just over six billion dollars and that was supposedly at um, just below expectations as well. So let's just see how that's affected the charts and the stocks. Apple are expected to jump by 5% when they open shortly. So we will expect a jump around this region, which will, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud, will give us more of an engulfment and then possibly a move further to the upside where we're going to see other recent highs above the 180 regions. That would be quite significant for Apple, especially. On the RSI, you, you know, we are seeing the last of this leg most possibly, and this is looking like a very very hidden bullish divergence as well as we look at you know another push to the upside so quite um, a bidding looking uh, chart for Apple and it's on the daily chart as well let's just take a look at the four hour chart you know when the market does open shortly like I said we are looking for a jump to the upside they've just removed some of the drawings and you know we are looking at you know prices being very bid another jump to the upside and that $180 region being hit once again as you can see here the pre-market estimates give the impetus around this area but on the four hour chart we are in we are not engulfing the Ichimoku cloud at the moment it's very thin at the area that we want it to be at for bulls especially so there could be quite an easy piercing if prices do start pushing higher and then we can have a look as I said at this $180 target so you know something to look out for in the next few trading sessions or even when the market does open and McDonald's as well you know we are looking at the moment that McDonald's will start moving um, a little bit higher uh, if they did actually get their uh, earnings expectations but as you can see here the this v-shaped decline at the moment we had sort of a hummingbird scenario going on at from most of 2021 where we'd get these recent peaks uh, going again and again and again but now we're seeing slightly that we are in a declining channel uh, and now we're looking to the downside especially when the market opens shortly we are looking to see that with the earnings miss uh, that prices will start moving lower as well so just to keep a look out at these recent troughs that we've seen roughly around the 250 and then 235 area um, especially as the prices have actually pretty much eclipsed through the Ichimoku cloud and now we're trading to the downside which is quite significant as well. Just have a look on the intraday chart once again like we always do and as I said you know this descending channel now is really looking worrying especially for bulls trying to put you know price back in uh, these recent tops that we've seen over the course of 2021 as I said this hummingbird action has coming to a halt and no, we're not even looking at a dead cat bounce we're just looking at a straight uh, forward uh, plummet down to recent lows so just keep a lookout for that when the market does open shortly and we'll see what the uh, consequences are so that's all from the stock watch today thank you very much for joining me once again this video will be posted on our Orbex uh, YouTube channel and any comments and queries will be replied to straight away. So thank you very much. Have a great trading day ahead, a great weekend ahead, and bye for now.